。您现在收看的是华氏教育文化频道。接下来要播出的是《英文文法与修辞二》。同学，大家好，欢迎再次收看《英文文法与修辞》。我们这一周要谈的是 English compound verbs（ 复合动词）以及 phrasal verb（ 片语动词）。我们很高兴，薛立鹏老师，东吴大学英语系的薛立鹏老师，能够再次来我们这边跟同学分享他的呃经验、教学经验。Hello, everybody. Good to be back. 好，接下来我来为同学谈。我们这一周讲的主要目标是要帮助同学理解英文复合动词它的结构和分类，还有片语动词哈，它有分不及物和及物两种，它不同的表达方式以及用法。我们知道说复合动词，它可以分成以下四种。第一种的话是。接系词加上动词，第二种副词加动词，第三种形容词加上动词，第四种是名词加上动词。片语动词它通常是用比喻式 （figurative） 的一种说法哈，而且常常和原本动词的意思不一样。嗯，原则上我们来看看底下不及物和及物两种用法。不及物片语动词像是 break down。它不是真的把什么东西那个 break， 而是指机械失灵。Come true 是指实现、实现梦想那些。Get by 是过得去。Look out 不是真的叫你把脖子伸出去。Look out 啊，是叫你小心 ，be careful 的意思。那及物动词片语哈，像 blame something on someone。Blame 就是归咎、责备。把某一件事情归咎于某人 ，care for 就是喜欢、喜好什么 ，find out 发现 ，get away with murder 就是不犯了大错，不用不受处罚 ，get rid of 是摆脱 ，hang up on 是挂电话，那 look after 照顾 ，look up 查资料 ，look up to 是指说尊敬 ，respect。Put up with 忍受。好，我们接下来要请 Steven 老师帮我们朗读课文。<coughs> Generally speaking, an English compound verb is a preposition, adverb, adjective, or noun followed by a verb, which can count as a single verb. For example. You will regret it if you underestimate the influence now. In this sentence, underestimate is a compound verb, which contains two words, under and estimate. The following are possible combinations for compound verbs: preposition plus verb, overrate, offset, uproot, underestimate, underline. Outdo, outrun, overstep, adverb plus verb, download, downsize, upgrade, adjective plus verb, blacklist, foulmouth, noun plus verb, brainwash, breastfeed, car wash, hand wash, manhunt, slaughter, manslaughter, sidestep. Please note that we usually use a hyphen. To distinguish a compound from a solid word with a different meaning, let's compare the verbs in the following sentences. I need to recover the sofa. 
I am recovering from a bad cold. Recover is different from recover, which is to get something back or get well. There is a typo here. I'm afraid you have to re-sign this document. If you don't like this job, you can just resign. Resign means to sign again, which is different from resign, meaning to give up a job. Phrasal verbs. A phrasal verb consists of a verb and preposition, or a verb, an adverb, and, or a verb, an adverb, and preposition. A phrasal verb is used in an idiomatic, figurative, or even metaphorical context and has meaning that is different from the original verb. The following are some examples. Intransitive phrasal verbs. Break down. Tina was late for the meeting because her car broke down. Come true. Steve worked so hard and his dream finally came true. Get by. I'm not broke. I have enough money to get by. Give up. Keep trying. Don't give up so easily. Look out. Look out. The bus is coming. Take place. The presidential election will take place in November. Transitive phrasal verbs. To blame something on someone. Jason always blames his failure on someone. He doesn't want to shoulder his own responsibility. Care for. Do you care for some coffee? Find out. Do you want to find out the truth? Get away with murder. Carrie gets away with murder all the time. Get rid of. Michael's car is a lemon, and he wants to get rid of it. Hung up on. My boss got angry and hung up on me. Judy hung the paintings up on the wall. Look after. When I'm away, my friend is going to look after my pet cat. Look up. Professor Monroe told us to look the information up on Google. You can look it up on a search engine. Look up to, meaning respect. Small children often need a role model to look up to. Put up with. His teacher can't put up with his behavior anymore. His teacher can't put up with him. Anymore. 好，谢谢 Steven 老师。现在我们休息一下，待会我来为同学讲解课文内容。Mm -hmm. 好 ，Generally speaking， 一般而言 ，an English compound verb， 一个英文的复合动词的话 ，is a preposition， 是一个前置词。Adverb 副词 ，adjective 形容词 ，or noun 或者是一个名词 ，followed by a verb， 它后面接着一个动词，然后 which can count as a single verb， 然后这个可以当成一个单一的动词来使用。For example， 比方说 you will regret it， 你会后悔的。然后 if you underestimate his influence now。假如你 underestimate， 这是两个字哈。Under 是低 ，estimate 估计就是低估。假如你低估他的影响力，现在低估他影响力，你以后会后悔的。那这个 underestimate 它是两个字哈 ，under 加上 estimate。那下面我们举一些 possible combination 可能的一些组合 ，for compound verb 就是。复合动词的一些可能的组合，第一种可能的方式是 preposition 前置词，它加上动词。那有哪些例子呢？像是 overrate rate rate 的话，就是
呃，估计、评估 over 就是高估，然后 offset 就是指说弥补损失、补偿，然后 uproot 就是连根拔起哈 ，underestimate 就是我们刚刚那个字低估了 ，underline 就是画一底下画一行线，就是说标出重点 ，outdo 的话就是指说我们超越某人。做的比人家更好 ，outrun 跑得比人家更快哈。那这个 overstep 事实上就等于是 step over， 就是你越权，你超过你自己的权利范围。B 的话，我们看是副词加上动词，像是 download， 我们电脑里面最常用的就是你下载什么。Down size 的话，就是 size 是。我们的范围尺寸哈，把这个尺寸缩小，事实上就是我们公司的裁员、缩编等等。Upgrade 的话，就是 grade 是等级 ，up 是升，就是升等 upgrade。那 C 的话是形容词加上动词，像 black 是一个形容词 ，list 是一个动词 ，blacklist 合起来就是列入黑名单。f o l l o w m o u s e 的话，就是指说口出秽言，就是讲脏话的意思。那 D 的话是名词加上动词 ，brain 是我们的脑 ，wash 洗脑，这大家都知道的哈。Breastfeed，breast 是指胸，乳房 ，feed 就是喂乳，就是喂奶、喂乳哈。母亲她有 breastfeed， 就是亲自喂母乳。那 car wash car 是车 wash 就洗就是洗车了 hand wash 就是手洗，有些衣服它不能用洗衣机洗，不能只能够用 hand wash。那 man hunt man 就是人哈 ，hunt 就是猎，我们讲说猎人就是猎捕。那 man slaughter 的话，就是 man 是人哈 ，slaughter 是杀，就是谋杀杀人。这样子 ，side step 事实上是 step aside， 就是说往旁边踏一步，就是规避、回避什么问题事情，就是这个意思。side step。Please note， 请注意 ，we usually use a hyphen。我们通常会用一个连字符号，什么时候用呢？是 to distinguish a compound from a solid word with a different meaning， 就是。假如一个字它有不同的意思，那这时候的话，我们要加上一个 hyphen。我们来比较一下 ，Let's compare the verbs in the following sentences。我们比较一下底下的动词。第一个 ，I need to recover the sofa。记住哈，这个我要 cover 是沙发的表皮。我们讲 recover 重新换沙发的。表皮哈，那这时候是 recover， 这有一个 hyphen。那假如说 I'm recovering from a bad cold， 这时候是我从一个我有了我生了一场重病重感冒，然后我现在身体正在恢复中。这个 recover 中间有一个 hyphen，recover 它是 different from recover， 它和 recover 中间没有一个连字符号，意思是大不相同哈。那 recover 没有连字符号，是指说 which is to get something back or get well， 就是你把某件事情拿回来，或者是说我身体渐渐变好，没有连字符号 recover， 这时候就是指说身体复原 recover 就是重新换一个表皮，换一个 cover。好，那另外一个例子哈。There's a typo. Typo 的话是指说我们排版打字错误。啊，这里有一个打字错误。I'm afraid. 我恐怕 You have to. 你必须要怎么样 ？Resign the this document. 你要重新签这一份文件。那另外的例子就是 If you don't like this job, you can just resign. 你不喜欢这份工作，你就辞职嘛。这边这两个字长得很像，唯一的差别是有没有连字符号。Resign, resign 这个的话是指说 sign again， 就是说你再重新签字，再签一次。
which is different from resign. 他和 resign 重音在第二音节哦，就是 resign， 他是等于是辞职 ，give up a job， 就是辞掉工作。好，下面我们要看的是 phrasal verb， 片语动词。A phrasal verb consists of a verb and a preposition. 那片语动词它是动词加上一个片语，或者是加上一个 verb， 或者是加上 verb 还有 adverb 加上副词。或者是动词加上副词加上介系词，有多种不可不同的组合。那 a phrasal verb is used in an idiomatic, figurative, or even metaphorical context. 这个片语动词它可能是口语化的，或者是 figurative。我们讲说它可能是象征的 ，metaphorical 暗喻的一种表现方式 ，and has meaning. 它的意义是怎么样 ？That is different from the original verb， 和原来的动词意思是不一样的。就是你从原来动词可能比较不能够猜出它这个片语的意义。好，我们下面来看 ，The following are some examples。下面有一些例子。第一个是 intransitive phrasal verb， 不及物的片语动词 ，break down。是指说什么呢？它是指抛锚，车子坏掉，机械坏掉。Tina was late for the meeting. Tina 开会迟到 ，because her car broke down. 因为她的车子抛锚坏掉。Come true. 实现。Stephen works so hard. Steve 他工作的如此努力 ，and his dream finally came true. 梦想。终于实现 ，get by, get by， 它的意思就是勉强过日子哈。I'm not broke， 我没有破产。I have enough money to get by， 我有足够的钱过日子。好，再看 give up， 放弃。Keep trying， 你继续努力吧，继续尝试努力。Don't give up so easily， 不要轻易的 give up， 放弃。Look out! Look out! 就是小心哈。Look out! 小心 ，The bus is coming. 这个巴士它正在，就是已经来了，所以怕巴士会撞到人或怎么样，就说小心啊，巴士来了。Take place 发生，或是选举或是怎么样事情发生。The presidential election 总统大选 will take place. 即将举行，即将发生在什么时候？总统大选会举行呢 ？In November， 十一月。好，再看第二个是 transitive 及物的动词。及物的动词的话，它的用法跟不及物有一点不一样。它后面要加，也要加名词，要加受词。第一个像 blame。Plan 这个及物动词后面要加上某一件事 something on， 把某一件事情责怪到某一个人的身上。像 Jason always blame his failure. Jason 总是把他的失败 on someone blame his failure on someone， 归咎于某人，将他自己的失败归咎于某人。He doesn't want to. 他不想要怎么样呢 ？Shoulder his responsibility. Shoulder 就是肩膀，好，这边讲负，承担起他自己的 his own responsibility， 他自己的责任。好，第二个例，第二个是 care for， 喜欢。Do you care for some coffee？ 你问人家说啊，想不想喝一些咖啡 ？Do you care for for some coffee？ Find out， 找出，发现。Do you want to find out the truth? 你想要找出真相吗？好，第四个例子 ，get away with murder. 通常 get away with 就是说做了什么坏事不受处罚。Murder 不是真的说你谋杀了什么人，它指的是说很大的一个犯了很大的错误，像 murder 像是谋杀一样大错误，就犯了大错。不受处罚，我们叫 get away with murder。好，我们看例句。Car 
get away with murder all the time car. 他总是哈、哦、能够犯了大错不受处罚。再过来 get rid of 摆脱 Michael's car is a lemon. 这个 Mike 他的车子是一个柠檬，不是真的柠檬。我们讲说这个烂车哈、哦，就是常常坏的烂车，我们就叫它 lemon。他的车子很烂 ，and he wants to get rid of it. 他想要换一辆车。好，我们休息一下，待会再继续。好，我们接下来看 hang up on 这个片语哈，这是指说挂电话。那 my boss got angry， 我的老板他生气了 ，and hung up on me， 摔我的电话，挂我的电话。那另外一个例句是 Judy hung the painting， 他 Judy 把这个 paintings 是指说图画，图画把它 hung up on the wall， 挂在墙壁上。所以这有两种用法，一个是 hang up on， 就是指挂人家的、摔人家的什么东西哈。那另外一个就是实际上是把图画挂在什么地方，挂在墙上。好，我们再看下一个例子 ，look after 照顾。When I am away， away 就是离开。当我离开家的时候 ，my friend is going to look after my pet cat。我的朋友他 be going to 就是将会。照料 ，look after， 照顾我的 pet cat， 我的宠物猫咪，就我养的猫咪。Look up，look up 的话是指说调，你查阅。Professor Monroe， 蒙罗教授 told us， 告诉我们 to look the information up on Google， 在 Google 上面要查一查这个资料。Look up the information， 把这个资料。查一下 ，You can look it up on a search engine. 那这边是指说代名词哈。这时候我们 look something up, look it up， 查查看这些资料在什么地方查呢？在 on Google engine， 在 Google 引擎上面查资料。Look up to 这个往上看，我们事实上就是代表说。我们尊敬、敬仰人家，就是 respect 尊敬哈。Small children， 小孩子、小朋友、小孩子 often need a role model。通常需要一个 role model， 我们讲说模范、榜样，来做什么 ？To look up to， 来让他们敬仰、崇拜、模仿。好 ，put up with， 忍受。His sister can't. His teacher. Can't put up with his behavior anymore. 他老师哈没有办法再容忍他的行为。那我们这边要请同学注意，下面有一个句子是画了星号。凡是画星号的，就代表是错误的句子。同学写的错误句子，我们拿出来提醒同学，就是 His teacher， 他的老师 can't put up with him anymore。我们通常 put up with 是指说容忍某个人。他的行为，而不是容忍某个人，所以你不能讲说 his teacher can't put up with him anymore， 一定是 with his behavior anymore， 不能再容忍他的行为。好，我们的课文讲解到这里，接下来是我们的文法聊天室。Okay, Stephen. We know that to recover, recover, and resign, resign can be very confusing.、Mm -hmm. Would you please elaborate on that? Well,、uh, many of these verbs have a hyphen in them precisely in order to clear this up. These are, in many cases, these are verbs that these are. Combinations, compounds that were formed a long time ago, and have since changed meaning somewhat. And so, if you want the original meaning, you have to create the compound again, and that's when we use the hyphen. So, for instance, recover has been around in English、mm -hmm. for centuries, 
and has had its meaning changed. And so now we have to, if we want to use it with the original meaning, we have to create the compound again, and, and we use the hyphen for that. It's a little bit like, uh, in English, housewife. That compound has been around for a long, long, long time. It's been around for like 12 or 13 centuries. But over the course of time, it changed into hussy, mm -hmm. which is a very pejorative term in modern English. Mm -hmm. Okay, to call a woman a hussy is mm -hmm. a very nasty mm -hmm. thing to say. And so we, about 200 years ago, we recreated the compound housewife. In order to make it clear. no, we're not calling her a hussy. We're mm -hmm. calling her a housewife. Mm -hmm. Well, it's the same sort of thing here. We mean recover. We mm -hmm. don't mean recover. We mean recover. <laughs> OK, 好, 那那个 Stephen老师要提醒我们就是说,像我们在课文里面谈到这个 recover, recover, 中间有没有hyphen, Stephen老师就说, 这个原则上就是他告诉我们这个是特别要用一个hyphen 来提醒我们这是一个新创造的字, 像recover这个字, 它原来的意思已经 逐漸被大家接受變成說失去它原意而變成一個字代表是復原所以這個字有固定的意义的时候我们就不加hyphen新的创造出来的意思的话我们就要加上一个hyphen来区别这两种那还有像是我们 讲人讲的很难听哈，那这时候我们就重新创造一个字，housewife来让这个字恢复它比较正面的新的意思。Some of these phrasal verbs, especially the more complex phrasal verbs, can be quite interesting, in my opinion. Uh, things like put up with or hang up on. Uh, have a range of meanings, mm -hmm. uh, including some very literal meanings like, uh, what is it here? Judy hung the paintings up on the wall. Mm -hmm. Where you, what you're literally meaning is place the paintings on the wall mm -hmm. along with the other things. Okay. Um, my boss hung up on me, meaning stop talking and wow. hung, hung the phone. Or another meaning is, my brother is hung up on a girl at school, mm -hmm. meaning he's very much in love with her. Okay. A painting up on a on the wall. 这时候就是实际上, literally, 实际上他把一幅画挂在墙壁上, 然后假如说, 我的brother, 我的兄弟, 哈, 他对某一个女生着迷的时候, 这时候也可以用, hang up on someone. 这时候意思就变成着迷, 所以有一连串许多不同的用意, 那这些都请同学注意字典里面, 都查出来非常多 急物不急物, my brother is hung up on a girl at school 在学校里面 他迷恋上一个女生好那我们今天非常谢谢Steven老师 